how to create your 10,000 NFT collection. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you a tool with which you can create up to 10,000 NFTs in just a matter of minutes. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to this website called nftartgenerator.art. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to this website called NFT Art Generator and its domain name is nftgenerator.art. So once you're over here, this is how the website will look like. And if you don't know how this website works, it's pretty simple. You can either play this video over here or you can just, you know, follow these steps and it's pretty simple. So down below we have pricing. So we can generate up to 100 NFTs for completely free. To generate up to 1000 we need to pay at least $280. For 5000 NFTs we need to pay $280. For 10,000 NFTs we need to pay $390. So it's pretty simple, right? Right now we're going to stick to the free version. So let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, simply click on the get started. And over here you have to upload and make a couple of folders. So over here you have to create some layers and then you have to upload that folder. So right now this is the background folder. So next what I want to do is I want to create shapes. Then I want to create eyes. Then I want to create mouth. And I think, yeah, that's it. Now click on the background. Okay, now that, that you have your layers, you can go ahead and upload your content. So click on the background and upload the backgrounds, right? So go ahead and find the folder. You can either drag and drop the folder as well. So the file is more than 10 FBs. Okay, let me just go over here and maybe drop them one by one, I guess. Yeah, so drop them one by one. Okay, so I couldn't upload all of them. Guess uh, we're going to have to stick with these two because the other two were quite big. They were more than 10 MB. So yeah, so you must be wondering what does this 50% mean? Well, I'll tell you about it later as we move on to this video. So as you can see right now, if I remove this, it's going to go back to 100%. So it's dividing the projectiles, right? And right now this file does not respect the project dimension expected but got 640 okay so we have to remove this one as well jeez let me just go ahead and uh, get some other backgrounds as well okay so i think i have it now so i've uploaded three you know different backgrounds so i'm gonna stick with that next is up with shapes so let's go ahead and upload some shapes over here i have a couple of them that are really the prettiest but you know for the sake of this video i think they'll be it Okay, so I've added the shapes and the background. I know it says they're more resolution, but I just, you know, I couldn't find any real resolution that could match the backgrounds. Over here, as you can see, we have the dimensions. The major resolutions are picked from the first image you drag and drop. We expect all images to be of the same resolution. So let's go ahead and add some more images over here. Let's add some of these eyes. And then we have the mouths. Let's go ahead and add the mouth. Let's go ahead and add them over here. Now, if we preview them, let's see how it will look like. Wait a couple of seconds for the preview to generate. I hope it works. I'm not really sure because the resolutions, as they said, they don't match up, which I'm confused because it shouldn't really matter, you know? Okay, so because the resolution was off, everything is off. Okay, we should get everything that has a resolution of 4480 by 480 so that everything matches perfectly otherwise it's going to look something like this but i think you get the general idea okay so it's pretty simple right all you gotta do is find the exact resolution the images but i'm sure I'm, i just found my images from giphy and other free websites because i didn't know where to find them but i'm pretty sure if you're going to create nfts like this you're going to do it in photoshop or in other 3d animation tools or other tools where people use to create nfts so i guess resolution is not going to matter to you because you are going to have a better idea of it but when you have everything lined up all you gotta do is just import them over here you know create different layers import them according to the layers and then just simply click on pre view and that is basically it now let's just assume that our nft works right this is like really good so what we can do next is we can go over here and over here as you can see we can generate over here 
you can generate up to 100 nfts different nfts and all we got to do is enter in our email address so over here as you can see it's generating you know nfts granted they don't look good the say the shapes and sizes are different but i think it looks pretty nice so once you've entered in the email address all you got to do is just simply click on download and you'll be able to download the entire file and that is basically it okay so let me just actually it's going to take quite a lot of time so i'm gonna go over here how do i cancel it i wanted to you know lessen the size i accidentally did that so actually let me just go back and you know do it again and over here as you can see you can enter in the name of the project over here this is like just a test and then you can add in the project description and then you can add the size of the collection as well so i'm gonna go with 30 for now right and then you have the dimensions you can't change that you have your layer settings over here and many many more so once you have done that just simply click on generate collection and over here one out of 30 that is how it's going to be generated only 30 images are going to be generated but you can generate up to 100 as well okay guess the website broke for some reason let me just do that again let me just lessen the size even more actually maybe then it will be able to do it let's go with 20 and see how it works i'm just simply going to wait for the nfts to generate okay so as you can see over here the download has been completed the process has been completed we have generated our 20 nfts and now what we can do is we can enter in our email address and then just simply download them so I'm going to go enter in my email address and click on download and it's going to download my file as a zip folder. And then once it's downloaded, let me just open it up and see how it looks like. OK, let me just extract it over here real quick. Now let me go into that folder and over here, I think. OK, assets over here, as you can see, these are all the NFTs that have been, you know, generated. I mean, I know they look pretty weird, like one eye, two eye. But you have to understand that my resolution was not, you know, matching up. So you got to make sure that your resolution matches up. Otherwise, it's going to look something like this. But, you know, you get the general idea. Like that is the point of this video. I wanted to show you how you can basically do it. Even if, uh, you know, I, the end result was not really what I expected it to be. But now you know how to generate NFTs really really good through this amazing tool called the nft generator app so having said that that is it for this video guys and if you liked this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on your notification bell because if you do that not only will you be helping us out but you'll also be getting daily alerts of whenever we upload our videos we upload daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content so just make sure to hit the bell icon and uh, you'll be notified and you'll be able to consume your daily dose of tech videos and other gadgets and other tools that can help you run or scale your business so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye